So, the cat's paw of the Septim arrives at last. You didn't think you could take me unawares here of all places, in the paradise that I created. Look now upon my paradise. Gaia Alata in the old tongue, a vision of the past and the future. Behold the savage god, where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny to rule over Tamriel Reborn. If you are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not hold you for long. Lift your eyes to Kerek Agayala, my seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you there. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The cold harbor of Meridia, Periite's quagmire, the ten moon shadows of Mithala, and... and Dawn's beauty, the princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. Yes, you understand now. Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. Ask yourself, how is it that mighty gods die, yet the Daedra stand incorruptible? How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to man while the gods cower behind statues and the faithless words of traitor priests? It is simple. They are not gods at all. The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. The Daedra are the true gods of this universe. Julianos, Dibella, and Stondar are all Lorcan's betrayers posing as divinities in the principality that has lost its guiding light. What are scholarship, love, and mercy when compared to fate, night, and destruction? The gods you worship are trifling shadows of first causes. They have tricked you for ages. Why do you think your world has always been contested ground, the arena of powers and immortals? It is Tamriel, the realm of change, brother to madness, sister to deceit. Your false gods could not entirely rewrite history. Thus you remember tales of Lorcan vilified, a dead trickster whose heart came to Tamriel. But if a god can die, how does his heart survive? He is Daedroth! Tamriel I Daedroth! This heart is the heart of the world, for one was made to satisfy the other. You all remember this. It is in every legend. Daedra cannot die, so your so-called gods cannot erase him from your minds completely. Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. You think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of fate. You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn, Tamriel Reborn. I welcome you, if you truly are the agent. I tire of the self-styled heroes who set themselves in my path only to prove unworthy in the event. I have waited a long time for you, champion of old Tamriel. You were the last gasp of a dying age. You breathe the stale air of false hope. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. Walls between our worlds are crumbling 
The mythic dawn grows nearer with every rift in the firmament. Soon, very soon, the lines now blurred will be erased. Tamriel and Oblivion rejoined, the mythic age reborn. Lord Dagon shall walk Tamriel again. The world shall be remade. The new age shall rise from the ashes of the old. My vision shall be realized. Weakness will be purged from the world, and mortal and immortal alike purified in the refiner's fire. My long duel with the Septims is over, and I have the mastery. The Emperor is dead. The Amulet of Kings is mine, and the last defender of the last ragged Septim stands before me in the heart of my power. Let us see who at last has proved the stronger. You came for the amulet? Take it then.